Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm the Obscurian Joe PD and for today what we do have in here it is Crackdown 3, an exclusive for Xbox and obviously right now PC. So you can only buy this game through Xbox Store or let's say Microsoft Store and it is rather expensive. This game it is developed by Sumo Digital, the same developer of games like Snake Pass. I don't know too much games of Sumo Digital but I know that they really took presence in many developments. They might not be been the main developer of many games, but they took presence in them. Alright, so this game it is using Unreal Engine 4. I'm using 66% of resolution scaling, which is around 500p. For the settings, I'm using the absolutely minimum settings possible that you can use on the graphical settings. You can't drop more than this. And also you have a performance menu where you can adjust your dynamic resolution scaling. Unfortunately for me, yes, these do work and uh, makes your resolution scaling even worse than actually it is. So what you get, it's a much worse experience. But let's forget about that just for a moment because I want to show the requirements. This game asks for... An i5 3470 and a GTX 750 Ti. So, yeah, it's not really the graphic card that we have in here. And actually, the game warned us that we are below the requirements to play this game. For the recommended, they ask a GTX 1060 or an AMD RX 580 and 4 gigs of VRAM and 8 gigs of RAM. Alright. Since we are below the minimum requirements, performance it is also bad. So we got an average of uh, 27 frames per second and a 1% low of 17 and a maximum of 39. Despite the low frame rate, the game does stutter a lot. And I noticed that even on my desktop, it seems that this game uses a lot of CPU and uh, the root of the stuttering issues it is the CPU while the root of the bad frame rate it is GPU fault. As you can saw, dynamic resolution scaling didn't really help me out in actually it actually made me made the game performing worse. I'm not really sure why. But what I notice is that dropping down the resolution scaling further does not help because it seems that our CPU in here can't handle the game too. So it seems that the GPU and the CPU it is struggling a lot and you also uh, I do recommend you to have at least uh, 8 gigs of RAM if you want to enjoy this game but I don't know if this game has uh, or have too much fans I'm not really sure about it I don't see anything special about it but I do understand the people that actually enjoy the game. I'm just saying this because the game here is very expensive, it costs 70 bucks, or you can play with an Xbox Pass, which is uh, much less expensive. It is like EA Access, you pay a certain amount of money per month, and Microsoft grants you access to their games. Also, there are more issues with this game, for example, on my desktop and in this laptop, my game crashes for about, after you play like 10 minutes, I'm not really sure why this is happening, but I do hope they fix up the game later with the patch because it is not working that well. This might be a problem with DirectX 12 and might be solved with drivers, but I saw these issues before with Forza Horizon, which was also a Windows Store game with DirectX 12. So, yeah, it might not be the best choice for you to get this game. So, yeah, what the hell is positive about this game? You might ask. I don't really know because I didn't play that much, but I'm pretty sure that fans of Crackdown series mm, will enjoy the game. And despite the low frame rate and the stuttering, you can also you can actually enjoy the game more and less. Right? It's not unplayable, but still, it's not really fantastic too. At least the low settings doesn't look that bad. You can still have shadows, and most of the graphical effects are present. Because uh, what is special about the visuals in this game, it is really the art style, which is I'm not really fun about. It seems like Saints Row 4, but still, it is it is different. You know, it is different than most games. And what is beautiful in this game, it is just the art the art style. All right. 
So guys, I think I conclude my video in here. Hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video. There is more game to be seen in this video. So hope you keep enjoying the rest of it. And I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Your stable grows. New vehicle added to your inventory. You've got to disable the force field, Agent. The civilians can't get out. Find the control terminal and take it offline. Careful around electricity. It's electric! <laughs> 